Hey guys, so I have a different kind of video for you guys. My friend Julio sent me some <laughs> treats from Mexico and I wanted to taste them here on camera with you guys. I'm a picky eater and I'm hoping that I will enjoy a lot of these, but just in case, if I don't like something that you enjoy, you know, it is what it is. Some people like stuff and some people just don't like stuff. <laughs> but we're gonna jump in first with a little bit of an unboxing. First up, Glamour Maid sent me some nails. These are press on nails and they let me choose five different styles. I went ahead and chose three that were square. I feel like they have so many cute freaking designs. Look how cute these are. Is that not freaking adorable? These are like um, Alice in Wonderland. I love the rainbow paints. These are like pastel tie dye. And then I chose, uh, what are these? These are like the medium coffin ones. I actually opened these up to kind of see what the quality was like and they are pretty strong and more of a thicker material. And I'm hoping that they will be really, really great. Let me know if you guys want a full review. I will be testing these out. I will be testing them out with the glue that it comes with and also with liquid nail glue to see which one I prefer, but their styles are absolutely just amazing. I will leave their link down below just in case you are curious, but I haven't tested them out, but they have a lot, a lot of cute different styles on their website. Also, Pop Beauty sent me this awesome package I wasn't expecting and I can't believe how amazing this is. Look at this. They sent me in here a headband, a jelly cleanser, a pom-pom peel, and an anti-fatigue mask. I will be using these and trying them out. I really like their skincare for Pop Beauty, and a lot of their makeup is very, very nice as well. Next up is a little gift that I got from my friend Jose. If you're not following him, I will put his Instagram handle here. He is extremely creative, does amazing work when it comes to flat lays on Instagram. And I'm not talking like basic stuff, I'm talking like next level stuff. He is amazing. He, I don't know why he is not working for multiple companies as like a visual artist because he's just amazing when it comes to that. He just does a spectacular job. I will put his his profile around here so you can kind of get a glimpse of it but he is just amazing definitely go follow him i'll put his instagram handle here and a link to it down below definitely go follow him but we're friends through instagram and we've chit chatted him me and julio and he sent me the tres luce tres luce beauty always suave lip scrub and then he had gotten a uh, what is that called like the mystery boxes and he already owned this palette So he went ahead and sent me it and this is the ORGY by Jeffrey star I didn't own this one and I am super excited because it has every single matte neutral that you could ever need I know that I will definitely be pulling this out when I need um, You know neutral mattes to go with shimmers and yeah, so I will let you guys know how I like this one. I feel like there's a lot of duplicate shades in here or shades that don't necessarily like you need. Like if you look at here, like these two are all, like these three are all similar. Like a few of these might be similar. A lot of these like wider ones up on the top, I, I don't feel like you need every single one. I feel like this palette could have been a little bit more smaller and condensed. I, I know like people are into huge palettes. I'm not that big into huge palettes. I rather have fewer shades and not so many repeats because a lot of these shades like I, I know like a little bit slight in tone changes but a lot of times like if it's just a, a slight tone when you put it in your eye you, you're not gonna really notice <laughs> but we shall see and um, I am really really thankful to him so thank you Jose for this and then the last thing is from Julio. Julio sent me the Lunar Beauty brush. I actually don't <laughs> like double-ended brushes, but I'm going to put this into my travel bag because I think that I will definitely use this traveling. This seems like a really good highlighter brush and this like an all-over good powder brush. And that's what I'm probably gonna do is just pop this into my travel brush, um, like my travel bag. But now I really, really want the brushes from Lunar Beauty because these feel so freaking good. <laughs> <laughs> now I want to kick myself in the butt because I didn't buy them when they were like on sale but you know that next time they go on sale mama's gonna buy them and 
it's so funny because he also bought a mystery box from Lunar Beauty and he got this palette that he already owned and they both spoiled me and sent me the palettes <laughs> because they had duplicates. And so I got one of the palettes that I was missing from Lunar Beauty and I'm super excited to have, which is the Lunar Eclipse. I absolutely love Manny's brand. His formula is absolutely amazing. I think the only palette that I'm now missing is literally the Life's A Drag Remix which I think if he does a really good sale, I would just literally get it to complete my collection, <laughs> even though I am on a low buy. So I'm so, so excited. Thank you, Julio. So that is the makeup aspect. And now we're gonna jump into the taste testing. Try is called a Gancito and Julio told me that they usually put this in the freezer and so I had taken this out the night before and put it in the freezer. I just got it out. I'm kind of a little nervous because like I said, I'm very picky eater and I don't know how this is gonna go. It's actually really good. It's like a pound cake with chocolate on it. And it tastes really good because it's super cold. Mmm, I really like a gancito. Okay, next thing in here is called, and I'm not gonna eat like everything fully through because a lot of these are kind of like Swedish and I don't want to like overdo it. Next thing, next thing in here is called the Bimbo Bim, Bimbuñuelos. We have Bimbo in Puerto Rico, but there was a lot of things that he sent me that we don't have in Puerto Rico, so I'm not familiar with. Okay, this looks like... Oh, wow. These, these are really good. They're like crunchy and very sweet. They kind of remind me of like, like those churro kind of chips. So that is yummy as well. And then next I see this little strawberry and vanilla Duvalin candy. I don't know. I think I'm just going to stick my finger in here. My finger's clean anyway, so. Oh, that's really good. Damn, everything he sent me is good. Mmm. I think I'm gonna have like a sugar, <laughs> a sugar high. Okay, so next up, this is called Pulparin Dots. So this is a tamarind candy with liquid pulparin filling. And that's what they look like. And they're just like these yellow. I'm kind of scared to like bite off. <laughs> I don't know if I fully like that. I haven't had tamarind in such a freaking long time that it, it kind of tastes like a little weird to me. This looks appealing. This is called a cranky, which is how I get when I haven't eaten. And oh, look, they're like little, they look like little, oh. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's really good. It's kind of like chocolate covered cornflakes. Mmm, they are chocolate covered cornflakes. <laughs> I probably should have read what it said right there, but these are so good. Okay, and then he sent me another one of those like Duvaline 
but this one is with chocolate so I, I know that this is gonna be really good I'm gonna save that for later and then this is basically this but in form like of a stick so I know that this is very similar to that and then there's another little gancito this is kind of like very similar to a little Debbie cake. I actually tried this. My son saw it and wanted it to try it. And I tried this yesterday and it's literally a Debbie cake. <laughs> it tastes very similar. But he actually told me that these are called pinguinitos. So it's like a little penguin. Next up, this is called a oblejas. It's called a wafer with goat's milk candy. So I'm not... This I've never tried. I wonder if you just bite into it. Well, that tastes good. It's almost like caramel with like a, like a soft, chewy wafer around it. This is really, really good. Okay, and this is another tamarind. This is called De La Rosa, and it's called, it says that it's covered in chocolate. I've never had one of this, one of these either. Not sure what's in it. Mm, wow, that's sweet. Oh, that's so freaking good. It says that it's called Dulce de ca Cahuate. I don't, I don't know what that is because we don't, I don't, I've never heard that in Puerto Rico, but this is really, really good. It's super, super sweet though. I don't know if I could eat this whole thing by myself, but really, really nice. I'm surprised that I've liked everything till now because I'm, like I said, I'm a really, really picky eater. I'm not into coconut candy, so I will give this to my mom because I know my parents like coconut candy, but this is called El Super Leon Coconut Candy. And it has something red here on the edge, which I'm pretty sure that's kind of like some kind of sweet or something. Yeah, it's sugar here on the edge of the coconut. And then the last thing that's in here Okay, so the last thing that's in here, these are called Marianela and Principe, and these are sandwich cookies filled with chocolate. Wow, these are also really good. Damn, Julio, everything that you sent me is really <laughs> good. I don't feel like there was a dud in here. The only thing that was um, a little sour for me is this, the tamarind. I just feel like it's because I haven't eaten tamarind in a long time. But after a while, um, I think that maybe my taste buds will get accustomed to it again. But I actually really enjoyed everything that was in here. Thank you so much. I definitely have to put these in little baggies and eat them little by little because this is definitely a sugar rush. But if you ever go to any kind of state like here in florida we have a few little like little colmaditos that are mexican or if you're like in texas california and you see any of these candies i would definitely give them a try or even if you're in mexico and see them definitely like pick them up i highly highly recommend them and this is like this is super yummy as well this this bimbuñuelos they're like they're like little i want to say like little dried up churros or something like it's almost like a churro chip. It's really, really good. Um, let me know. I know that this was different for me. I just wanted to do something fun, especially because he was going to send me this box and I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.